Hey everyone, my name is Notlad and welcome back to Quantum Break. Unfortunately in this episode, my camera is not included, nor my commentary. Uh, I lost the uh, video f footage of me uh, doing the commentary, so unfortunately this will not be included. But the gameplay is still here, so I hope you guys enjoy nonetheless. So without further ado, we're going to get back into the game, so here we go. the police looking for a terrorist. Now, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Is that the guy who blew up the library? Um, James Joyce? Uh, Jack Joyce, yeah. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Well, I mean, there's a sports car parked on the streets back there. It's kind of wrecked. It's a little unusual. Please, show me where. Right now. Oh, damn it. Better hurry. All units, be advised. There we go. Patients, please talk to one of our security personnel if you have anything to report. Jack Joyce! 
My plan to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. It's even worse than my Man. passport picture. I'm not the one who should be scared of. Okay. This is going on Facebook right now. Watch yourself there, sir. That's hot. Just be patient, folks. We're just making sure everybody's safe. Goddamn Mickey Mouse detail.
this damn bridge and I'll be clear. This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. <laughs> the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. The frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best.
towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Hold still. Come on, hold still. Come on, come on. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was gonna get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen. In the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said, I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Hello, Riverpool. 
report? Well, it's been a rough night for us. The collision at the Port Donnelly Bridge that has claimed multiple lives is still being investigated. At least a dozen people are... This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Name's Martin Hatch. Friend of the Monarch Radio has been deemed a traitor. The cause of the accident remains unclear. Adding to the... Potential ally? Conflicting reports from ship workers and those on dry land. The captain of the cargo ship insists that the bridge was up and the route was clear. However, some people shoreside claim the cargo ship was approaching the bridge at high speed, despite the bridge having not yet been raised. Others express surprise at the ship's presence, claiming that they do not see its approach at all. The investigation is still ongoing. We'll keep you posted. Now, obviously, this disaster will affect us in more ways than one. With the Port Donnelly Bridge out of commission, heavy congestion is expected on the other routes across the river, and we now have reports coming in of multiple car crashes all over Riverport. So you will want to reserve enough time for your trip today if you're traveling by car. Stay safe out there. Hopefully we can all get back to normal soon. Dr. Amaral seems convinced that Paul's been to the end of time. Do you think that's true? Can't be. Otherwise, trying to prevent it would be pointless. Why? Because it's already happened. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? Power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, and the machine was activated. 7 a.m. It's out here. Hey, there we well, go. The numbers don't lie. Okay, I guess I'm doing some climbing. Here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will.
Okay, the first red light is now green. Good. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the machine. How do I get to that second red light? You may need to find a way to the other side of the machine and climb up from there. Jack, you've got to see this. Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. All right, what is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're gonna wanna see it. Everything else I printed out and put on tables over there. Serene's original manifesto for Monarch. They had us practically memorize this. He actually believes he's doing the right thing. It's because he doesn't think the fracture can be stopped. And he's wrong. The lifeboat. Yeah. Well, according to Monarch Communications, Paul Serene just activated that thing. Far sooner than they were supposed to. What does that mean? Means we have less time than I hoped.
Anybody here we can trust? Fiona. She's my only remaining contact on the inside. What about this Burke guy? He was under arrest in the same transport as me. Jury's still out on Burke. Hey, Amy. What am I looking at here? I've been recording Monarch communications with the radio that Beth left me. I made a compilation of anything that seemed like it might be useful. Okay. The date is... February 28th. Jesus, Will. William Joyce. 1999. Okay. After months First experiment. of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built the time machine, and it works. I'm gonna prove it. Or die. Okay. Just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay. Core is active. Chronon levels are stable. Travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor is locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive, but I can travel backwards in time only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is, well, now. Machine's ready. Monitor is stable. What I'm about to do is gonna change the very fabric of Was that Paul? So he arrived in the past. Well, how's that possible? It wasn't even the same time machine he entered at the university. That's one question I still don't have an answer for. What's on the computer? Monarch files I uploaded, and I kept the juiciest stuff on screen for you. Is the city still hunting for me? In full force. There's an entire web page dedicated to potential Jack Joy sightings. Who I've been filling it in with false leads for fun. Do you want to pitch in? Uh. Post that I was spotted in the back of a catering van somewhere. You can do better than that. But okay, I'll let them know.
You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. He kept everything. Hmm. Guess he thought you might come back. Jack? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> my artsy rebel phase. Complete with a very rebellious how-to guide. I always wanted to try this, actually. Never had the time. been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with Dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. <sighs> Jesus. Notebook was full of dates. Events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. It's climbable.
we're doing this. I'll set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? No. This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date, where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Yeah, OK. I'm going to follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? <laughs> 